believe that Manitobans have lost um, confidence uh, in this government's approach uh, to handling the pandemic and to health care overall in this province. The Manitoba Health Coalition petitioning to have an independent public inquiry into the province's handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. We are as much as many families and many health care providers uh, a little bit bewildered. Uh, by the approach of this government. Thomas Linner, provincial director for the MHC, says their nonprofit doesn't blame this government for problems the pandemic provided to everyone in the world, but feels there have been decisions made that seemingly go against calls from health professionals. We have seen um, doctors, nurses, allied healthcare professionals all speaking up and saying, more needs to be done, something needs to change. We are on a knife's edge. We are, we are at, the, at the precipice here uh, in terms of a healthcare system that is no longer able uh, to service the needs of Manitobans and a government that has seemed quite willing to ignore that fact. The petition garnering over 100 signatures in just one day is similar to independent reviews both the Liberals and the NDP have called for. We outlined some clear strategies and areas to look at um, especially pre-pandemic decision-making so that we can learn from the mistakes historically. We can see what did work. And, you know, hopefully if the inquiry was done uh, in a timely manner, we could apply those lessons to what's going on right now. Linner says recent statements from Premier Stephenson have led him to believe public health officials have less say than they should in developing strategies to keep Manitobans safe. If that's the case, then Manitobans should see what that public health advice has been since the, since the arrival of Omicron in Manitoba. What has the public advice been? And the government should have to justify not following that advice. Linner hopes this review would be taken up and completed in 2022 to help shape decision making for the remainder of the pandemic. The petition also calls for immediate support to frontline healthcare workers in the form of intensive recruitment and training, as well as releasing the 2022 budget early to allow health regions and facilities to plan for potential future waves of COVID-19. City News asked the Premier's office if they would support an independent review. That question wasn't answered, but a spokesperson did say in part, we are focused on helping Manitobans get through these challenging times together. While the COVID-19 pandemic is not over, we are constantly learning and adapting our response and initiatives to better protect our health system and the health and well-being of all Manitobans. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.